What's up guys and gals and welcome back to the Nerd Castle. Today in the world of indie games, we're going to be checking out Intravenous. Intravenous is effectively Punisher the game. That's pretty much the best way that I know how to describe it. Uh, there's a lot of influences that go on into this game, uh, but the one that I think that it's closest to is probably Hotline Miami. If you also made, so like Hotline Miami is really like a puzzle if you've ever played it before. Figuring out how your psychopathic mask wearing main character is going to mass murder all the bad guys. And every single room is its own unique puzzle that reacts to the way that you enter into the room effectively. This game is kind of like that when shit hits the fan and it basically falls apart. But before that, it's kind of like an ultra-violent, ultra-gritty game where you're trying to sneak around and take people out and, like, crush their windpipes without anybody else hearing. And effectively, you are a commando. And so anyways, we're going to go ahead and start the game off here. If you wanted to check this out after I play the game, uh, you can look down below in the description. I'll have a link for you down there. And then, of course, you'll find a, list to, a link to my Discord and my Twitch stream. A uh, fair warning at the beginning of this video, there is a lot of really harsh language in this game. Like, really, really harsh language. Uh, so along the way, I may be skipping over certain dialogue and whatnot. Uh, I do think the usage of that language is, like, perfectly fine in order to sell, like, a very gritty kind of dark criminal underbelly world where everybody's murdering each other and snorting drugs and killing each other and stuff like that but for the sake of uh google daddy censor i've got to keep it off basically what happens is they parse everything that i say in this video uh using like a text-to-speech analyzer effectively and if they see profanity in there they don't like that none and so i'm gonna skip over it for the sake of this but also due to the fact that some of the language is like really really offensive uh, just keep that in mind too that it may not be great for some people uh definitely not a game for the youngins uh let's go ahead and start a new game uh we can choose our difficulty level there's also some things you can do to customize your gameplay experience uh, so it'll tell you a list of how it modifies the gameplay depending on how difficult you make the game. You can also turn off or on auto grab ammo from fallen weapons. Uh, with the way the game functions by default, you actually have to manually like strip the mags out of guns and stuff like that, which you cannot do on the fly in the middle of like a firefight. It takes too long and the enemy is smart and they will push you. And so anyways, you can turn that on if you wanted to have a little bit more of a run and gun experience, but for the sake of the video and making sure that it's actually showing off what the game's all about, we'll leave it disabled. So now we've got a short intro. What's the matter, Steve? You fall asleep or something? Yeah, Charles, the sound and smell of gunfire made me want to take a nap. Well, shit, man, don't fall over with that thing in your hands. I wouldn't want you to get caught in the misfire by a lousy shot like you. Hey, screw you, man. I bet I can hit all the targets faster than you. Oh, yeah? You want to bet on that? You're on. I win it tonight. The drinks are on you, and I mean a good amount of drinks. Well, when I kick your ass, I'm going to have that bottle of whiskey that I've got. Don't get too cocky. Hold your horses. You're all over the place today. Why don't you get some more practice in first, huh? All right, so gunfighting is pretty easy. You right-click in order to precision target, basically. Uh, and so it'll give you a little notification if the enemy can't be shot through, basically. And so we just got to, like, mag dump out here real fast to advance the plot. And that's exactly what I'm going to do. Tapped out. Grab the pistol. You should probably get used to it while you're at it. All right, so we're going to go grab the pistol down here. There it is. There's also a shotgun on the table, but I guess we don't get to play around with that. All right, we'll go ahead and just dump some rounds down range until it lets us get through the tutorial. All right, then. Let's have at it if you think you're that good of a shot. All right. Let's 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 shoot all the targets out here. Shoot every target I pop. Oh, it won't let me shoot that way. Okay. Well, I guess I'll pop off some shots. All right. Looks like I'll be having that booze after all. Man, I didn't even have the time to taste it. I'm just messing with you. You think I'd rob my brother like that? Drinks are on me tonight. Real generous, huh? Hey, you're the one who's paying for the shooting range. I'm not some tightwad. I can let loose some, too. What do you have? Uh, bourbon's fine. Bourbon and rum here, please. I'll be right back. I gotta take a leak. All right, so let's get on over here for leakage, dude. Uh, there's two ways you can open a door. You can kick it down, which basically, like, wrecks anybody that's behind it. Or you can just go through quietly, which doesn't make any noise. Uh, say, Steve, you got a girl yet? Nah, man, free as I can get. Got some good news for you, then. There's a chick behind you. She's been eyeing you for a while now. You might want to go over and say hi or something. Man, is she hot? Find out for yourself. Go on, get. 
All right, let's go talk to this girl. Let's go say what's up. Be like, hey, girl, how you doing? Hey, how are you tonight? Man, that girl was all over you. You think? Man, what kind of question is that? The way she was looking at you, playing with her hair, and the laughter that could be heard a mile away. You got her number two, man. What do you think? Well, I'll have to give her a call, I guess, sometime. You do that. Don't blow this shot, dude. Can't believe I need to coach you on this. You think we should hail a cab or something? Why'd we do that, man? I'm right here spending quality time with my little brother, and I'm in no rush. Got a good buzz going. I'm enjoying myself. And then the guy storms in. He says, Richard, why are you lying to me? If you didn't get it done, just, like, say so. Man, your boss sounds like an asshole. I know, right? The guy even said that his laptop crashed, so he lost all his unsafe progress. Richard's not the type to lie about that kind of stuff either, but no, he's lying for sure. What a dickhead. Hey, man, you got any spare change for us fellas? Nah, I don't think that I do. What about your boyfriend there? You feeling generous tonight? Eh, get out of here. Get a job. That's no way to speak somebody in need. Just give us your money. Yeah, pretty boy, give it over. You back up before I smash your face into pulp. Man, what are you doing? Just take the money and go! It was supposed to be a regular night out. Instead, I ended up at the hospital. My brother's in a coma. I gave an interview to the police, and they said they turned the city upside down looking for the junkies that did it. Charles passed away the next night. What do you mean there's nothing? It's been a month. Guess I'll have to do this myself. This one's for you, big brother. The one time I left my piece at home, I got wrecked. I'm no doubt gonna be outnumbered. Should resort to fighting as only my last option. All right, so at the beginning of the game here, a couple things you need to be aware of. Down in the bottom left, we have our red bar, which is our HP. We have our armor, so we've got body armor on, I think, anyways. Uh, the illumination level is underneath that. That determines whether or not enemies can see you where you're currently at. You've got the noise that you're generating on the little yellow meter underneath that, and then we've also got the cool kind of SNES display of our weapon. Uh, next to that, you can see how fast we're moving. Uh, Tarkov style, we can use the scroll wheel to decide how fast we want to move, and then we can just come right up behind this guy and just choke him out. Down he goes. Uh, on top of enemies, you'll have different options that you can use the scroll wheel to go to. So, like, we can unload this guy's weapon for its 45 right there. Uh, we can finish him off if we want to, and I am a fan of that option because, like, at the end of the day, they killed my brother. Uh, but be forewarned that if you go, like, really, really, like, blood and gory on this game, uh, you may regret it later on because the AI is actually pretty smart. I, I played through a little bit of the game, and, like, the AI notices things. Like, they know if they left a light on. So if you turn a light off in a room, if you leave a door open they'll remember the state that the door was in the last time they went past it they will notice these little blood puddles on the ground and it'll put them into like active alert where they'll start looking around and they'll start searching for like whatever caused all this blood uh, the only exception to that is that they don't notice the guns that are laying on the ground uh, which given like the curious amount of stuff that they're actually aware of seems sort of remiss like if I'm walking down the street and I see like a, a sig 45 laying on the ground I definitely noticed that. That's like weird. That's outside the ordinary. And so anyways, they don't notice the guns, but they do notice the bloods. They do notice bodies. They do know doors and windows and lights in the last state that they saw them in. So keep that in mind as you move through the game. I think there's a guy over here. I think I hear his footsteps. I think if we wait on him, we may be able to get his ass. There he is right there. Come on, come on, come on, come on. 
Got him. There we go. All right, my man is down. Uh, we need to carry him up and out of here, though. So we're going to take him back this way. And I think I can throw him in this dumpster over here. Yeah, I can throw him in the dumpster. But, like, first, you know, you killed my brother. There we go. <laughs> like, this is not a serious revenge mission if we leave any of these guys standing. That's just my opinion, is if we're really going to lean into sort of the John Bernthal thing where we're just murdering everybody that gets in our way. Like, we got to finish them off. Like, what if they get back up, dude? You can't leave, like, enemies behind. Check this. I got a piece the other day. It's a nice gun, man. How much you pay for it? Ah, 200 bucks. Guy sold it to me with a nice discount. I don't trust that. You know how to use it? Man, it's a pistol. You point and pull the trigger. Don't point it at me, dude. Relax. It's not loaded. <laughs> and that's why we need to practice trigger discipline right there. That would be the reason. Uh, let's go ahead and we're going to move around the outside. Well, there's a guy right there. Yeah, let's get him with the takedown. All right, perfect. I don't want to leave a bunch of blood over here. I am going to unload his gun just in case I got to pick up a gun. But let's take him back down this way. I don't know if I can put multiple dudes in dumpsters, but, like, you know, we're going to try. And also, um, you killed my brother. <laughs> there we go. Oh, you can't put multiple dead guys in the same dumpster. All right, well, I guess we'll just leave them suspiciously on the roadside right there for anybody and their uncle to find. And there's a bottle right there. You can use those for distractions to move people around if you need to, like, kind of get them out of a position that they were previously in. We're going to open this door up, close it behind us. We're going to turn off the light switch right there. We're going to open this. We're going to try and get in behind this guy who is, like, the least aware dude in the history of the world. Like, I definitely notice if some guy walks into the room with me, but, you know, you killed my brother. I kick your head in. All right, so we'll close that off. I don't know how many of these guys we have left, but we're doing pretty good so far. Like, as far as murdering and slaughtering goes, we're doing a pretty good job. I'm going to open this on up. Be careful not to hold your space bar for too long. Otherwise, you'll, like, slam the door. There we go. We'll knock him out with the pistol grip real fast. And then you killed my brother. Um, <laughs> isn't it funny how games like this, like, morally equivocate, equivocate? Like, I always notice with sort of, like, Punisher-style guy with a gun revenge fest, like kind of the power fantasies. Like it's always like, listen, 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 listen. Did he just kill like 150 people over the course of this movie? He did, but the the guys killed his dog. You know what I mean? Like they give like the audience just that vague little piece that you can like empathize with. We're like, well, he's a good man who had turned around, but you know, they came and they killed his wife. And like that little piece of information right there totally dismisses the fact that they're just like unadulterated, annihilating everybody that gets in their way in ultra-violent, heavy-breathing, John Bernthal fashion. It's funny how human beings do that, right? I think there's a guy coming. Um, I can not shoot the lock open on that door, but as of right now, I haven't gotten the skill to uh, learn how to lockpick yet. So unfortunately, that door is not going to be available. I hear him moving around. I just can't tell where. That big building looks important. Okay. I need that to be closed off. That guy right there has got to go. Apparently, he pistol whipped me a little bit. It's kind of hard, like, with the melees sometimes to get it done. Uh, that guy should not be aware of the fact that we're over here. We also need to kill the lights so that when we go back out, we can catch his ass. I don't know where he's going to stop at, but we should get him, like, right there. All right, there's another dude right there. I need to get this guy somewhere where nobody's going to see him. Uh, I'm also going to kill the lights right there just in case. All right, we'll drop him in here, and then, of course, you killed my brother. Um, let's see here. This guy is going to know instantly when we come into the room I think I don't think there's any way around him and so in this case a kill might not be warranted sometimes there's wall vents that'll allow you to get around and like get into areas if you want to get in there there's a shotgun inside of that room 
We could shoot the lock off. Um, if we neutralize everybody and then complete the mission on the way back, we can maybe swoop it. Oh, we got to close that door behind us. I totally forgot. There we go. All right, doors closed. Oh, there's a dumpster back there. Nice. Well, this guy's going to get a surprise when he goes to the bathroom and sees his buddy's collapsed head. Uh, there's another dude over there. I think I can jump over that wall right there. Yeah. Let's just do this all nice and real sneaky breaky like. So that guy's now down. Uh, we're not gonna we're not gonna do the old uh, you killed my brother routine just yet. Um, I need to get him somewhere where nobody's gonna see the body. And it looks like we've got just the place back here. There we go. So like, uh, you killed my brother. Uh, what's up with the vent shaft? Where is that gonna take me? Uh, it took me roundabout to like a different spot. Gotcha. Hmm. I don't know how I'm going to neutralize those two. I mean, I guess I just spray him down. Like, what else am I going to do? This guy's going to crash straight on in here. I virtually guarantee you. So we'll just go ahead and do like a quick cranial lobotomy on him. I'm going to jump through maybe over to here. Where'd that guy run off to? So he's hanging out around the corner down there. I'm going to see if I can slice the pie on him, but I don't know if I'll be able to. There we go. Uh, we took a little bit of damage right there, which is unfortunate. I would have preferred not to have taken damage right there. But, like, at least he's down. Oh, there's another one over here, too. Yeah, they're coming out of the woodwork now. All right, let's just stay back in the darkness. Pick this guy up. Dump him over here. I was going to say, I think he's going to come down here and investigate. There we go. All right, so we took him out. Nice and easy. I'm going to unload some ammo from right there. I don't know. What is that right there? What kind of... With the P89, what is that? It's different than what I've got. I'm not a fan of leaving my firearm at the scene of the crime, though. That sort of seems like a great way to end up in jail. So I'm going to take my gun and avoid touching everybody else's gun, no matter how awesome their gun might be. Ah! He's not here. I need to leave this shithole. All right, let's get out of here, dude. Let's move along. Oh, it even called down that guy right there. Fair enough. I don't know if there's anybody left, in all honesty. I feel like we've done a pretty good job of liquidating the location. I don't see, like, anybody around. Ooh, there's a sweet-ass gun over here. What is it? Oh, a mini ooze, dude. That's pretty sweet. I'll definitely take that. Yeah, give me the give me the old mini ooze, dude. Give me a little bit of that superior firepower. We've got some of that suppressive spray now. I don't think there's anybody left, dude. I think we cleared out like the entire neighborhood. Oh, well, there's a guy over here, dude. We gotta like we've gotta have we gotta handle him, dude. Like we can't leave him behind. And then of course, as is tradition, um, you killed my brother. There we go. All right, let's get out of here. I think we're, I think we're done in this location. Uh, we did okay. We got the rank of commando. We died zero times. My accuracy was like all over the point. Uh, we're somewhere in between stealth and combat, favoring combat a little bit, uh, between quiet and careless. Eh, we're favoring careless like a little bit on our meter, you know what I mean? But like, dude. I didn't, I guess I could have just ignored that room, and I could have entered in and just not worried about it, I suppose. Like, that room with the two guys that I gave away my stealth advantage, 
Partially I did it because I wanted to show off the gunplay in the game and I wanted to show off kind of how visceral and how fast paced it is and how instantaneously deadly it is. And then like on the other hand, I probably could have just ignored that room entirely because I don't think it was in between me and my objective. So that might have been unnecessary bloodshed. I don't know. This is horseshit. How am I gonna do this? Where do I even look for this guy? I gotta sleep. Let me get my mind off things. Off to Betty Bye we go because nothing caps off a night of double digit homicide like going to sleep. Hello? Hey Steve. Who is this? How'd you get my number? I'm afraid I can't reveal my identity, but we both share the same goal. I know how much it hurts to lose your kin to a deadbeat junkie. And I know the police haven't made any progress on finding those responsible either. So what do you want? We both want to see those responsible for hurting our families face justice. I'm offering my aid in finding the people that killed your brother. Give me a reason why I shouldn't just ask the police to trace the call. Because that won't do any of us any good. Besides, what police? You're at home. Why should I trust you if you're being so secretive? Because I'm offering you access to a black market and all the necessities to train you in tracking down those degenerates. So what's the catch? None. Some deadbeats killed people that mattered to me, and this is personal. Yeah, I'm in. If the cops aren't going to do anything, then I will. I'm very glad to hear that. You can call me the accomplice. Welcome to your new home. If you find something lacking, let me know and I will remedy that problem. What in the hell? You got me cabinets full of guns? I've got enough funds to get you practically everything you'll ever need. Might as well go all out with this. Try the new weapons out. See how they feel. I also suggest doing the obstacle course to brush up on traversal skills. Come over to the terminal when you're ready and we'll go over what to do next. Before that, I strongly suggest you take the obstacle course. I've already done the obstacle course when I was playing this game prior to doing like a video on it. And so anyways, we'll go into the weapons locker. As of right now, we've got a Mark 23 suppressed. And it looks like we've got ourselves just the good old fashioned American M4. Uh, there is also a uh, non-violent way to do this, but like where's the fun in that, dude? Where's the fun in that? Uh, you can also increase the amount of armor that you'll rock. Uh, so you can go with basic Kevlar, it reduces your damage by 20%. Uh, you can go over here, and you can go with ceramic plate carriers, or you can go with plate and Kevlar. But it is going to mess with your noise factor, and it is going to mess with your ability to be mobile. I'll probably go midline for right now. We'll go with a ceramic plate carrier. I actually, I own a ceramic plate carrier. Actually, mine's steel. But anyways, it's heavy. It's real, real heavy. I can't imagine having to wear that thing like all day, every day, dude. Uh, you wear it for about 45 minutes. You're like, man. This is heavy, and I'm like, I'm not out of shape. I run like four or five miles every other day. I lift weights like fastidiously. Like, I'm actually fairly obsessed with kind of personal health. Like, I'm in good shape, and even so, like, it is unpleasant and unwieldy. Don't ask me why I own it. I don't know. I just... It was one of those impulse purchases you make when you're, like, drunk, and you're like, eh. I'm going to do the obstacle course real fast, and then we'll come back so you can see some more gameplay. Alright, so I did the obstacle course. It's just basic stuff like, you know, how to avoid cameras and things. All things that are fairly obvious if you've ever played a game before. Uh, so what do we do now? First, tell me what you've been up to. I went back to where I got messed up in hopes of finding at least one of the four guys that killed my brother. Got nothing. Yeah, there's no chance they'll be there anytime soon. It's a dead end? Not quite. Uh, luckily for us, the guy who called the ambulance had a visual of the junkies who beat you up. He described their looks to the police. I went through some CCTV footage and found a place one of them frequents. You scrubbed through a bunch of footage by yourself? Facial recognition software uh, is my friend. Right. I'll head there now. Wait, 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 wait. I urge you to spend at least a week or two getting familiar with firearms. You need experience. The odds aren't stacked in your favor. Aren't we letting them get away? They have no prospects of going anywhere. Don't worry. Even if they do go somewhere, I will find them. I promise to help you. All right, fine.
Steve, I want to remind you to be less trigger happy with the guy we're looking for. I know you might be primed to shoot him at the earliest convenience, but remember, if he dies, we risk running over ourselves into a dead end. Right. Uh, yeah, I'll take... I mean, the trank rifle's kind of a cool idea. I sort of dig that. Uh, I did want to see how this affects my noise. Uh, with the plate carrier on, it looks like I can still move pretty slowly and get my sound down, so I think we're okay. I do want to look a little bit further ahead. I don't know the layout of this level very well, and so we will just kind of, like, feel our way forward. That man's pooping, so I think we can pretty much ignore him. These doors look inaccessible. Everything is color-coded, uh, so brown doors are interactable. Gray doors tend to not be. All right, so there's our first guy. We've also got a dude over here. I'm going to take him real fast. Doesn't look like there's anybody else inside. Alright, so let's take him to a more acceptable spot where he won't be seen. I think the bathrooms are typically pretty good for this. We'll drop him over here, and then as is custom, you killed my brother. All right, so let's see. I mean, dude, we're doing the ultra-violent, like, we're we're doing John Bernthal breathing right now. We're going like, wah, wah. like, we're doing, like, the Punisher thing where he absolutely, like, flips out and just goes mental, all right? Uh, we'll go ahead and turn. Yes, rest in silence, little buddy. Rest in silence. All right, so we're going to kill as many lights as we can, as many places as we can, so that we have options. There is a light switch in that room, too, but I don't think we're going to go back into there, so I'm not that worried about it. Where's this guy at? What's he up to? Okay, so he comes down to right there and patrols. All right. I think we can push. He's fast, like his patrol is quick, but I think... Now, we don't want to open the door prematurely. Because he'll see it, and then he'll investigate. I couldn't remember if lockpicking the door opens it by default at the end. But I think we can take this guy right here. Oh, there's two. Okay, never mind. That plan's off. I don't want to deal with two. Uh, we can deal with one. Two makes it a little bit more complicated. I think it's smarter if we sweep this way and we see... Okay. I don't know if you can see me right here. I might have to wait another rotation, too. So basically... I wonder if the sound of me choking a guy out attracts attention. Oh, yeah, dude. Okay. All right. I should have hit the light switch on the way past the door. I see what went wrong there. Couple more down. I'm getting a little low on ammo, though. I don't know if we're going to be able to feed it up very well. Uh, let's go ahead and see if we can move out in a different direction. And that guy's on the other side of a... Oh, there's so many of them, dude. Okay. Uh, we may have problems. Slice the pie. Ooh, got them all. Anybody else want a piece? Oh, we have NVGs, too, that are on our tab key. That's pretty sick, dude. I kind of dig that. Uh, yeah, let me get the let me get the pistol out now. I don't think we're going to have many options here. 
I'm pretty sure everybody in the neighborhood heard that. I'm pretty sure the mission is flubbed, all right? But yeah, this is Intravenous. I hope you guys liked it. I think it's a pretty cool game. Uh, it does have some really, really rough language. And no, I'm not talking about the language that's been used already. Uh, the language definitely gets worse in some cases. Uh, but, like, the shooting feels good. The stealth feels good. It feels, like, appropriately punishing. Oh, my God. He snapped around at me. How dare you? I mean, to be fair, I snapped around at his friend, too. I think we're going down here, dude. Uh, but anyways, Intravenous. Check it out down below. I haven't gotten too much further in, so I don't know if any RPG mechanics or any, like, level-up mechanics are added to the game at any point. Oh, I'm down, dude. We took a lot of people with us, though, dude. We took, like, a lot of cats with us right there, but it is sort of an interesting game. Like, it's sort of like a more restrained Hotline Miami, and I sort of like that about it. Like, it's a, it's a, it's Hotline Miami, but slowed down a bit, basically. Uh, it's Hotline Miami where you have a few more options, and, like, you can interact with objects in different ways, and definitely kicking the door down and launching one guy into another guy and then impaling them both on a cue, you know, a pool cue is, like, not encouraged. Like, you're supposed to kind of, like, handle your stuff in this game as much as you can under the cover of darkness or just not even interacting with the enemy at all. Uh, but still... When it does kick off, the gunplay is nice. And there are little details in the game, too. Like, silencers in this game are realistic. They don't silence the shot like in movies where, or like other video games where it's absolutely silent. Like, people inside of a radius still hear you discharging a silenced weapon or a suppressed weapon. Uh, there's little details like the rack and the slide going back on the gun every time you fire, even though it's really, really tiny on screen. They really went out of their way to add sort of, like, things that make the game feel very, very immersive and realistic. The only thing that I would point out is that there is the usage of homophobic language inside of this game. Uh, none of it is used by the main character, because that's an important stipulation point. Uh, but, like, the enemies will shout things at you that are definitely not appropriate to say in, in like, real life, where you're just like, Foof, okay, he said it. Uh, and so, anyways, if that's the sort of thing that, like, you have, like, some kind of bad experience in the past and you just don't want to hear it, and that sort of thing is really going to upset you, then this may not be the game for you. But other than that, pretty well put together game that, like, kind of takes the blueprint from Hotline Miami and still manages to kind of go its own way and, and turn it really into sort of like a immersive military tactical gun porn sim basically so anyways i'll see y'all later my name is splattercat this is intravenous if you want to get the game it's down below i'll have something hot and fresh for you off the indie skillet tomorrow bye everybody